so what's up guys so i'm back to show y'all how i do my makeup so of course you're using scar wax you can make your own there's tons of videos online or you can buy some at the store that's what i did it's ben and i ben and i it's like ben and i the science guy or whatever i don't know y'all but um i got that wax so you use scar wax vaseline and blood and um you know colors to make it look like a deep bruise or a deep wound however you want to make it so of course I'm coming in I'm coloring making sure because I found that me doing my color first before I do the wound is way more easier now I will say this if you're trying to have it last longer um I would use some sp um, spirit gum and pick so before I was really interrupted, you see that I finished my makeup and everything, and then I go in with my jagged um, spatula, the well point the tip, and I just start making my wound line of how I want it and where I want it to end and where I want it to stop. Y'all, can we just take a look and just? Can we just stop and take a look on how good that shit look a little like on my real skin? Like, damn. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> but then I go in and I just make jagged areas. Yes, I'm removing some of the, the scar wax as I go. But that's okay because I'm trying to get that wound jagged area type of effect. You know. So you're just going to play around with it until you get that desired look that you want. And then we'll go on to step three. So then after I get my desired look, I have this big ass gash. That's how I like it. That's how I wanted it. And then I go in with my small um, color palette. I get the black and then that dark type of red. Um, I got that at Walmart. I think it was like $2, maybe 3 I don't know. Um, and I just go around. I piss some on the scar wax, but I try not to like sm smash it or flatten it because I want that like extra piece of skin. And I put it all around. Yep. And of course, I go in with some more of that red. Just take my brush, my makeup brush, and just put it inside to make it more wound-like. I try and put some on the on the scar wax itself as well, but it's kind of hard because it's all flimsy and shit. <laughs> but I, I get like a little bit on there, you know. Your girl got it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, uh. I uh, get a smaller brush too, just to get into those nooks and crannies, and put some on the outside as well. Not a whole lot, just like a little bit, cause I didn't want to overwhelm it. So yeah. All right, we're getting into this blood. This shit is thick. So, if y'all don't like blood, I advise y'all to look away because this still look real. Again, I got this from Amazon right along with that scar wax. It's the same maker, by Nine, Ben Nine. It's B E N N Y E. I don't fucking know how to say that, okay? But I love this stuff. I forgot how much I paid for it, but it's so real. It's called um, Scab Blood. And I love it. Alright y'all, so it, this was kind of getting a little long, so I decided to cut some out. It's nothing serious, I just put blood around um, the scar and everything, and then I got some plastic, I cut it up to make it look like it was like glass, and I stuck it in there, it's staying in place, and then I just put some blood on that, and 
there you go is how I make my looks I'm gonna try other things like pencils pop bottles you know other things and yeah I hope you guys liked it